we are underway down at Carroll Road this afternoon. So Job's gone pressing through the middle from early on. Yeah, again, it's he'll just be he'll just be playing in the hole. He'll be playing that uh, ten wall really. Played by on nine at the back. Styles playing right. We'll have to see how this develops. Yeah, Mundell on the left, left here. Yeah. He's right footed though he comes in. See some good flashes from Ramey Mundell since joining the club. Yeah, that's on it for stuff like that. For me, with Hamir and I would, I would like the lads to get down with us, get round the outside. Hjelda knocks it on for Mundell. So you get the first foul. Wendell gets there, despite the stretch from Stacey. Kept in by Hume. Styles it is on the stretch. Great noise from the fans again, isn't it? It's amazing. So loud every single week. There's Mike Dodds with his coaching staff behind him. They want to put things right in that first half against Swansea City. Said as much in his pre match interviews this week with the press. Yeah, and I think Mike probably appreciated that he's had a week really as well to. to, to, to you know. Again, just work work with the lads. This has abandoned the uh, the back three. For now. For now. So they will revert to it when needed. Daniel is carrying it. Is it to Equa? That's it. That's what he needs to do. Just, make, just make a nuisance of yeah, himself. Be a pest. Yeah. It's David Wagner. As you see him, he's just used his body there, knocks Sil off. Equa. I'd be very surprised if uh, Saints played anybody against anybody like uh, uh, Ashley Barnes. Good experience. That's the one that will drop in. Jordan rises the challenge. Wonders down the line, he goes back to Leo Hjelda. Decision. Well, goals have gone in in the three o'clocks. Birmingham City are winning 1 0 at home to Southampton. Millwall have got a, a goal against Watford.
Bradley Ford looking for Sargent. Was he offside? Yeah, he was. Four now, Josh Sargent. I, I, I will be finding out which angle he was on. <laughs> Especially when he, because he keeps running in the channels. He's, he's, he's live. He's a live wire. He's a good player. He does. The last thing you want to be doing is letting him have the ball and running at you because he's. Uh, yeah. Decent early possession from someone here. Yeah, quite sure. Again, like we've talked about it. We're, we're a good side. We're good on the ball. You know, we're confident. This is where we, we, this is our style. But it's when we lose, when we lose it, can, can we win it back? And they have done. Colin Styles brings it away. Trey Hume settles for the throw. Bounce beats Yelda. Surprised at Norwich, I thought they would play with a bit of a higher tempo, and maybe especially the run we're, we've been on, you know, to see if they could uh, put us under a bit of pressure. But that hasn't happened, which suits us because we can get on the ball now and yep. build our confidence. Dan Neil, there, of course, he won't be happy with the previous three games. to get out again it's stopped by Sunderland Sarah comes across to try and help out clean it's the back of Sarah from Gibson but Sunderland have got them pressed in here yeah. this is the Sunderland I prefer the uh, again, game against Swansea which we just let them dictate to us this is better well we, we can make Norwich play you know, long hopeful balls because they kind of get out oh give him a shout so that's why he should be just getting a shout just get it on his chest and bring this out Instead, it's Norwich who try and advance. They get the throw as well. John Stacey will take this, put it down the line. We can't see at the moment. We are, of course, reliant on the EFL cameraman down to Carroll Road, but it looks like it's really coming down the rain. Stacey looking for movement from Fastnacht. Mundell, all his defensive duties. For the first corner of the afternoon. Only really test to see how Sullen can deal with his set piece. <coughs> it's all about organisation in these situations, Lee. Tucking the ball. Just attack the ball, comes in your area, go and attack it. Don't be stood. Through a corner. Someone were able to break here. Just weren't able to grab control of the ball. Because Stein made a decent run. Someone finds it in here down at Carroll Road. Sergeant drops it on, so did Barnes. Mm -hmm. 
Kenny McLean. Hanley. Just waiting for those gaps, aren't they? Norwich here. Quite nope. happy to keep it. Yeah, we're just filling the gaps, you know, really just going with our men, making them go back, which is good. It's, it's, it's We've been patient, out of possession. over the top Silt watching it but Sargent is around and he gets there didn't give it up Silt recovers and actually gets the throw as well I mean that's what Sunderland are after really they kind of get it but then they hit the long ball and we hope to deal with it but you know, Silt just made a bit of hard work of that to be fair but he's got the throw in in the end and then really coming down now Carroll Rod Oh. It's up in the air. Can he stop it from going for the corner? Is that a bounce? Oh. Sands. Starts it again. And he'll come back with Hanley. Stacey now. Mundell chases. Sunderland's done well there from being in a bit of bother there. Go on. Yep. Mundell That's it. gets it and suddenly have a corner from nothing. Yep, they've done well. We're in a bit of bother ourselves at the far end and on a, near our corner flag and we've pressed and pressed and pressed. As I say, I mean, just making a pest of himself and that's, you know, sometimes that's all you can do. You know, you know, the balls are not coming in but you've just got to make a real nuisance of yourself and use his body and his strength. Mundell coming across as well, playing yep. his part as well, but as you say, it's just a bit of persistence. Yeah. Bit of presence. No, it looks like someone's come with an attitude to work hard, which is good. Corner's taken short. It's worked to Pierre Equa. What will he do with this? He's gone for the shot. And Angus Gunn had to be ready. And Sunderland will have to be ready for this attack from Norwich. Sarah. See you Stacey crosses it. And from Silt. They see Joe dives in, doesn't get there. The ball does get delivered. Joe gets there and Mundell so. brings it away for Sunderland. Does he get the foul? I don't think it was. Oh, he does. No. I think he wins the ball as then he catches it. Equal's effort. Decent pop. Yeah, I think the keeper would have been disappointed if he <laughs> they got him to that. Hey, it's a shot. Ali Saiter. Yeah, it's uh, one for the stats. Ashley Barnes. Jack Stacey down his right hand side. Fastnacht is ahead of him. Goes for the middle. Comes all the way through. Sergeant on the stretch. Oof. Had to be stopped and turned around for the corner. Daniel was uh, blocked it there. He did really, really well. Just dropped nicely, didn't it, for Sergeant? He was stretching a bit though. You can see it again here. Stacey gets the initial cross in. Comes off Trey Hume. Hit Hume again on the way yeah. out. Maybe Silt yeah. heel, maybe, but the second that? corner for Norwich, which is going, yeah. more direct. Good header. Good header from Yelda, oh. but it comes in! And it wasn't too far away. 
think was well hit. I think it's a, I think it's a distance side because we you know, from the angle. I think it's we'll from this from angle, yeah. yeah. Dimitri Janulis with the shot and it's well wide in the end. Yeah. Good first header though from Hilda. Yeah. Proper sliding tackle weather now. Yeah. You'd like to be out there this afternoon. I'd love to be out there now. <laughs> You've got your new knees now. Yeah. Well before I'd do it like that. <laughs> Football. Well, slick yeah. movement in the middle there by Norwich. Give him a show, he's got time. Sergeant picks it up. And they go back again though. It's Kenny McLean. I think sometimes it's something that warmer a bit like this and we, we just overplay. And, you know, sometimes it is quite easy to play against because you just sit in. Kill, kill the space. Goes out for a throw to Norwich. Actually, so hear the, the rain coming down on the, the mic we are receiving in our ears from Carrow Road. At first, I thought it was something they were applauding, but that is the rain, isn't it? Yep. It's absolutely battering it down. on my job Jim Mulis Jim Mulis teasing cross it's not dealt with the first time Barnes brings in Sargent oh we've given it to them it's still spinning about in there I'll tell you what Slate, he hasn't got his feet sorted so far. The, the, the game, 17 minutes in, he's made it. He's made about two or three mistakes. Barnes looks up, plays in Sergeant. Good block again, the end. He held up. Important block, and then it comes to nothing. Thankfully, for someone's perspective. Uh, watching SAFC live broadcasting around the world here. And joined by Lee Howie on Core Comms this afternoon. Game restarts and Sargent has it on the edge of the Sunderland penalty area. Fastnacht, Sara. Stopped by Trey Hume. Watched. Good ball. Job in space. Here's Dan Neal. Yeah, that's good football from Sunderland. Really calm. Takes a deflection on the way through. Norwich come again. Coming together between Dan Neal and Josh Sargent. I didn't say that way, but a tangle of legs, if anything. Yeah. Nine. Looking to bring in Trey Hume. He brings it down. Puts the ball in. in. That's a good ball. Mundell is lurking. He's doing well there, you know. Mundell, he's gone in. There's a lot of wingers stay out. He's gone in. He's trying to get. He's trying to get in there. So it's just just zipped off the surface, and it's been really, really difficult. But that's what we need. When he crosses into the box, it keeps him here interested as well. If he knows he can go in there, and there's a there's a, there's a ball coming in, he'll keep going. It's when it just keeps going from side to side, and he, you know, as a centre forward, sometimes you just get frustrated. He's got the height on Rusin, hasn't he? It's a different kind of option up there. Maybe there's some thinking in that, but we need to see more crosses we if do. he's going to be successful. We do. And again, when he was playing the pre-season, that's what he was doing. He was, he, you know, he's, he's got two or three with his in the air, didn't he? And he looked impressive then. Yep. There's a player in there. That's Ben Gibson. Sarah, searching ball, goes out on the far side. Roger 
Sands was the intended target. Nine bringing it away from Ashley Barnes. Typical Ashley Barnes, not just dirty. That's silly because Luke, Luke was struggling there, wasn't he? Looking to f find a way out. Yeah, he's trying and to look for his options. He's just gone and kicked him. Out. Yeah. I think he was going anywhere, was he? Nope. So. He's Mundell. Head down, running a goal. That's a foul. Kenny McLean with the foul that time. Is it a booking? No. He's oh. done. He's done well, Mundell. He's, he's got his. Oh, didn't see. He took a quick. He tried to. I think the referee's going to bring oh, it good. back. Uh, he's done well. He's, he's just got his body across him to make him make him foul him. Yeah. Here we go. Just cuts across him there, Bob. Yeah. yeah. That's a foul. Decent position this. Get the ball hit the floor before I'll, I'll, I'll be all power here. Well, out of those players around the ball, we know best about Equa's ability from these kind of areas. Tell me what I'll be sticking with the ball. Is. Yep. Does he fancy one, Equa? Oh, He's gone for it. <sighs> Too high. No conviction for me. They didn't. They didn't. It's not enough pace. He's never going to be the goalkeeper. He's got, to, he's got to smash that man. Fair old way out as well, isn't it? Gets yeah. around the wall, never dipping, is it? No. Sometimes you get caught up to be too precise, trying to. You just sometimes you just have to get your head down and, and, and just rip one. Daniel. Lovely turn, buys himself some time and space. Job poking it through. Mundell just just wanted offside. Janulis looking for Sergeant. Silt was on top of it. Ooh. Referee waited a second or two there, then brings it back. and battle between those two this afternoon. Yeah, it's a fair. Fair Sand stands over this. So does Sarah. But she won't go to turn on wall when it's about... <laughs> 35, 40 yards out. Big defenders from the back are up. See Gibson there. Playing at quite a high line. So it's got to be brave. Plenty of movement. Comes all the way through. It's Ben Gibson who was the closest. It's gone for the corner, in fact, so it must have been a sudden tall they got on the end of it. Yeah, somebody's, somebody's gone in there and just got something on it. Been silt. Right. Just enough. It's a big tournament. Ben Gibson. And the Middlesbrough player, of course, and Burnley. Comes out for the shot on the edge, John. Might have even hit the bar after Patterson save. To the corner. So whether or not it's been deflected or Patterson saved it, but it's uh, yeah, that was travelling as well, wasn't it? Was it Sands? Look at that. It's a, it's a shame. It's a save he should make, but it's uh, we ask you, he's done well. I think maybe the referees give a goal kick after all that. Look like a good save to me. <laughs> No, it's looked as if it some sort of foul. All oh, right, there we go then. It's 
Styles it is. Yeah, doing well. In the middle for Sunderland, he is Hjelda. Mundell goes inside. Jensen Silt, Trey Hume. Get it in. Cross comes in from Hume. Oh. It's not cleared yet. Equa. Hjelda. Didn't disappoint. Sergeant back there, winning the back for Norwich. He's going to get it straight back. Daniel. Here's Mundo. Crosses it, looking for Hamia. It just causes problems. Hasn't gone for the corner. That's what Trey Hume was looking for. Done Thinks he was felt to begin with, but he didn't get it. But that's what I like to see. Sometimes just get that half a yard, just stick it in the box, and then yeah, it just causes issues. It causes problems for them. Just. just Make it, just make it sometimes too easy where we're going round the box and round the box and we end up trying to thread it through, we lose it and they're on, sometimes just stick the ball in the box Southampton have got a goal back at Birmingham City it's 1-1 in that game now and the only other goal is the Millwall 1-0 against Watford Give you all the half-time scores here on SFC Live. Wagner looks on, his side have been patient in possession. That's a ball. Well, I think the home fans would feel that, Lee. <laughs> yeah. Well, some of the fans would feel that. If I, think, I think they had three centre-halves, you know, McLean, yeah. and they've had the most touches, they just keep seem to be passing it between themselves. From Patterson. Styles doing well. Job battling to keep it, and he does. Nice ball from Trey Hume. Oh, back, well it's gone up to half an hour late. Make of Sunderland this afternoon so far. The shape's a lot better than the first 45 yeah, against Swansea, isn't it's, it? It's been, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it's been steady. It's been steady. We've, we've, you know, we've got a good shape. You know, again, we're just making them play slowly. Yeah, they're playing slowly. We're able to yeah, we get a pinch, but again, they've, they've had a few shots. They've looked dangerous. You know, we've had one from Equa really. That was on target. We, again, this is always Sunderland struggle. Well, we. You know, we look confident on the ball, but we're just not creating enough chances. Of this Styles change. just drops it to the right. Hume trying to feed him it back. Perhaps he wasn't expecting that ball. Just stick in the box. Have to clear. See, if, if I was a mere there, I'd be absolutely be angry. Oh, I, 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 Trey would definitely know he's sticking the ball in the next time. Maybe he will this time. Styles. Job drops it back off to him. Hjelda. He's Mundell. Hjelda. We've got three in the box. Come on. 
Things are frustrating the hell. Equa has to get there. You feel something should have crossed it there, Lee? Yeah, we've got to... We're just overplaying again. We had three in the box. Stick it in there. Norwich trying to go through the middle. Sargent picks it up. Stretching challenge from Seal, but I think he came through the man. It looked like a foul from, from what, what I could see here. Let's have another look. Yeah, through his legs, I think he was. He didn't get away with them now. Oh, like in the good old days, Lee. Yeah, much of the good old days. <laughs> yeah. Broken ankles and knee replacements. The bad old days there. Yeah. McDonald's having a chat with his coaches down there. Should just give him a shout, the old fashioned shout, get it in the mixer. <laughs> you know, let's fight for it, get it up there. I mean, you know, let's see how we've got Hamir. You know, and it's just. The lad just doesn't get used. Yeah, he hasn't really been involved, has he? No. But sure, he, he'd, he'd be running more if he knew that you know, we were going to get a wide and get it, and get it, and get it in the box for him. He's actually cut it out there in the middle. Job picks it up, Strong continues job. his run, showing some strength there. He's asking for Mundell to help out. Yeah, he didn't give him an angle. He was he just kept running with the defender. Looking for Trey Hume, it's a bit short. Back to Walton football. Yeah, every time they seem to get it, this back line just goes from left to right. And the locals are getting a bit restless now. You can hear it. Hanley. Sarah, who's back there. Throw this player back for, for Norwich. He was the attack midfielder. Yep. David Wagner does like his defenders playing out with the ball. So I don't think we'll see a change in style throughout the game. No, no I mean, a, a lot of credit for Sunderland. We, we, we're just banking up. We're just, we're just very, very good shape. You know, we're going with our men. Again, when you pa pass and pass and pass, and you tend to find you know, the Norwich players are going towards the ball, which is easy to mark because you just go with them. The hardest thing is when they start running channels and spinning you and running forward. But uh, these are, he's, he's quite easy to play against. I thought he did pull him down there, you know, on his shoulder. No, fu no foul, nothing given. <coughs> ben Gibson there. Job working hard to try and get it back for Sunderland. Stacey gets it back. Ekmar's come across, Mundell hasn't given up the chase either. Between the two of them, they get it back for Sunderland. Well, good work from the two of them. It's good to see Mundell as well working, working hard because that's what you want from your young lads that you know, that normally always happy to uh, go forward but not do the hard stuff. But he's uh, he has his track back well there. Right in front of the Sunderland fans who seem to be in this corner. In the way though, oh. Trey Hugh. Good deal there. Well done, Trey. Let's get rid of it. He's found Hjeldo in some space here. His job. Mundell. Silt. Hume. Let's 
Dan Neal. Amir gives it back to Dan Neal. He sees the runner, Trey Hume is he onside, he's, he's offside. Off. Amir didn't get on the end of it anyway. Decent move though from Sunderland, probably the best move we've seen in the game. By far the best move of the game. We actually, you know, being with passing it around, but we went with a bit of purpose, a bit of it was it was piercing. You know, that doesn't sense sometimes it's tempo, too slow. Yeah, yeah tempo's like it's one touch pop pop and then it's in. It's just again, I think that's the surface really. It's just really, really rapid across the across the grass there, and Hamir just couldn't manage it. But it's better, but it's better. Sunderland on the ball again as we come back from that replay. Job Ten looking for Styles, who was creeping in there. Sarah goes down the line. Barnes gets there. I don't so. <laughs> Ooh, tasty. He's tripped in there. I think he knows what he's doing there, Ashley Barnes. Balls out. It was our ball. It did come off him, and then he's just grabbed his foot. <laughs> Ooh, well, challenge there from Stacey, but he gets possession for Norwich City. He is fast knacked. Rumble's back there helping out again. They don't know to defend it. It's a good push. But Muttendall helping out again. Yep. easily take possession back Newless take it away for Sunderland comes back Barnes is dropping it off all the way through, Mundell gets an important touch on it. That's our ball, look. that's our ball. Yeah. Goal kick. It's doing well. Yeah, he's doing well though. It feels like your heart was in your mouth there because you just you just sometimes think as he oh got them. He's played it off him. Yeah. He is out, he's, he's he's just got his foot in the and no, that's just he's kicked it out. Does it as well. Amir drops it down for Styles. There's a good crossfield ball to Hjelda. He's Mundell now for Sunderland. Stepping inside, getting away from his man as well. Thinks about a shot, he gets his angles all wrong. Well, I think the approach play was encouraging there from Sunderland. Yeah, again, that's what him is. What you just want to make to get the ball down, and that's, that's where we can then start the attacks from. But uh, yeah, he, he definitely got that wrong. But hey, at least it's positive. At least it's positive. Queen's Park Rangers have taken the lead against Leicester City. And another game in the Championship this afternoon. We'll give you all the half-time scores here on SFC Live, of course. We're focused on this one down at Carroll Road. It's nil-nil at the moment. QPR with big fans. Yep. Yeah, they're worried about what's Leicester City. <laughs> Hjelda goes on the overlap. And Jensen Silt. Styles. For Hume. Five minutes left of the first half. Normal time. I can't imagine being much stoppage. Just, uh, well, there'll be the obligatory one. Oh, yeah.
Norwich is sitting a little bit deeper as this half goes on. Yeah, we're maintaining the ball better, but again, I think, I think the two te teams would be disappointed with the way they've not been able to really create anything. There's a big diag. Trey Hume gets on the end of it as well. Styles is calling out for him, but he's doing the hard bit. He's touched, let him down. He should have just been touching in. Oh, what a ball that is from Sarah. Inside of the boot. Falls to Ashley Barnes now. Fast now. Oh, Plays in. Sergeant is he offside? He's missed anyway. Offside. His angle's wrong though. Yeah. I, uh, well, that was good play by knowledge as well. It's that initial ball from Sarah yeah. inside of the boot in front of soon as, you break, as soon as you break the lines, then we, we scramble it. I mean, look at that. That, that ball has played four, four of us out. Right across the face of the goal. It was offside anyway. Chances have been few and far between in this first half down to Carroll Road. It's Kenny McLean who's it clear. Sergeant. Hanley, this is Gibson. Target, the communication. He's a bit frustrated there, doesn't he, Ashley Barnes? A few decisions gone against him. Well, they've all been right. Yes, foot off. Yeah. Romain comes down again. Romain Mundell receives it on this left hand side. Sloppy in control. By Angus Gunn. Sergeant. Can something on it. Barnes. Plays it to the left hand side, and there's a big challenge there from Trey Hume. I think he'll go in the book for that. First one of the afternoon. And it's a Sunderland player. So Trey's 10th. Is he good? I'll have to have a look at that at half time. Yeah. I thought Luke was the closest one. Was he? Dan Ballard missing through suspension. We'll check that at half time, Lee. But now he's close. Birmingham City are in the lead again against Southampton. Down at St Andrews. As a poor ball goes in. be happy with that delivery. kind of fizzling out at the moment. <laughs> Very quiet down at Carroll Road and in the commentary booth. There's nothing to talk about. Final 15 seconds of normal time. Sergeant trying to keep it in. Can't. Well, they were both at it for me. Absolutely both at it. It was just an easy one for the referee to give. Well, 
played through here and there could be a late opportunity in the half in Norwich City as the shot comes in but it's always going over the top Sarah on the end of that one he's got his angles wrong this afternoon so far I mean if he's shooting from what was that 25 30 yards out you know the Sunderland will take that Roger Sands plays it across it's held up nicely by Sargent but then straight over the top I guess sums the whole half up you know really lack of quality in the final third for both teams you know the only time we have had quality they've been offside you know the, the, the chances uh, one for him here and, uh, and then one for Sargent but uh, I think he's getting Pierre's hair band <laughs> I never had that issue <laughs> Had oh, he did. Take what? Oh, the ball's cut out. Oh, cut out there by your nine. We've said what do you think Mike Dodsell has said, but what about David Wagner? He'll want a bit more tempo from his side, won't he? Yeah, the, the, the lot of the team was. It was a ball and half. I mean, their, their fans must be super frustrated because they played a lot of walking football from the from the back. Again, the football's played with tempo. If you want to create and move people, you've got to play quickly. That's great there from Dan Neal. If he can finish it off with a, a pass, and he does complete it. challenge there a couple of strong challenges referee allows player to continue after the foul on Styles. yelled again in the cross stopping the attack He puts one in. It was Ashley Barnes on that near post. He's asking for a corner. I think he knocks a pass to me, and if it wasn't for the rear, I think it, 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 it slows the ball down for him. It does hold up a bit. Barnes gets there. He gets there. Just ahead of Silt. Imagine if Ashley Barnes will last the full 90. You just see the ball there huh? stopping in the, the puddles next to the, the dugouts. Look at that. Right. It's Ben Gibson. Still do the post game program today. So stick around for that one. Danny's not here, but Lee Howie alongside me this afternoon. Just see what happens here. The ball spins up. Trey Hume plays it out. Almost caught there, wasn't he? Trey's the only player in the book this afternoon so far. We looked at half time, we make that 10. Suspension for him, looming. And Sarah. We have started a bit better with the tempo. Norwich. I suppose it couldn't be any slower. <laughs> it's Jack Stacey. Oh, oh, Patterson had to get something on it. Comes off the bar. It's played back in there, it's off the, the heel of Styles. It's not cleared yet. It's just about now. So all of a sudden, Norwich have started to put the ball in the box. That's what it is, it causes problems and we seem, <laughs> we seem to not want to. Stacey it is from that right hand side. In fact, I don't think Patterson gets there. I think he thinks it's going over. 
comes down over the top of him, hits the bar. So he stands over this one. Wasn't too effective from these in the first half, though. Teasing oh, ball comes got through. Got to hit the ball. Shot is charged down by Styles. Oh, Joby has to hit that ball. Causes us so much problems. Takes it quickly. Styles trying trying to wriggle away. Oh, it's a little loose that time, but the ball's loose, and Dan Neil tries to win it back, and then Mundell does as well. Stacy does it back to his keeper. Second half's picked up where the first half left off a little bit now. <laughs> game finished in a 1-1 draw that was away against Blackburn Rovers it's got a lot of goals at home this season particularly since the turn of the year yeah they've turned their form round Ooh, ball from Barnes come on break on Equa to Mundell forward ball looking for Job who gets there Kenny McLean's got back with him Job holds him off Nine shifts it to Trey Hume. Equan's got space in the middle. Ah! A poor ball from Trey. He's been like that. Oh, today he's, he's missed quite a few of his passes, Trey. Still play them. <laughs> it's Ben Gibson looking for Ashley Barnes who Strass. wins the header. Comes to nothing though. Held us in. Barnes uses his elbow. That's what he's good for. That's what he's good at. I'm getting to use his elbow, just to using his body, just being awkward. You know, that's that's you, know, you can throw it up there and he'll, he'll make something out of it. And his experience as well. Fast napped. Brings it down. Jack Stacey. Tries to cross it. Mundell gets something on it. Job couldn't cleave it completely. Sarah on his left foot. Shoots. Near post save from Anthony Patterson. Goes behind for the corner. Yeah, causing our own problems again, not clearing our lines. Yeah. Mundell does quite well to get the first uh, tackle in, but then Job gets caught on right on the edge of the box. Decent steer from uh, Patterson. Sarah goes back on his, his left there. Some deals with it. Goes out for the corner. This is number four for Norwich this afternoon. Sunderland have only had one corner. Yeah, yeah. Haven't got much attacking, have we? The referee just wants a word about something and someone. Just pushing and shoving in the box. Hanley and Equa. It's a deep one. Kept alive. Equa oh, gets the head there. Signs. Is it in? But it's cleared. Not very far though. Oh. 
sides. That's a deflection. Dan Neal's there anyway. Hamir just drops it off to Equa, who's trying to play in Mundell, I think. We, we had everybody back. He hasn't really done anything to it. Just, just trying to do it in space, but uh, you know, we need to get on the ball a bit earlier. The second half, we've started really, really flat again. Serve again from Anthony Patterson. That's Kenny McLean. Stacey has got some early success in this second half down the right hand side. Yeah, he, likes, he likes to attack, doesn't he? Likes to bomb on. Be fair to Mundell, he's gone with him, he's tracked him. Clean. Stopped by Dan Neal. Gets it back though. As you were. Screaming for it on that right hand side, the Norwich players. Sarah. Hanley. Clean. Norwich building slowly here. Janulis. Hjelda wins the header. Mundell. Just couldn't take full control. Stacey. Sarah. Oh, How's he getting free there? Hans. Stacey. Mundell, Mundell again. Mundell's back there again. Barnes is coming. Shows you what, how we play and when Mundell's best work's been defensively and not attackingly where he should be. We should be getting forward. But he has put a shift in. He's, 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 he's worked, he's worked hard and, and, done, and done the dirty side of the football really, really well. Sullen fans again here down at Carroll Road. Nil-nil. They look on and we look on around the world here on SFC Live. We'll still do the post-game programme. With Lee here, use the hashtag AskDanny on social media. Sorry, I'm not offended. That's all right. I haven't got the manpower to change the, the hashtag. There's certain Keir Starmer in attendance there. Is he with Ed Balls as well? Is that Ed Balls? It is Ed Balls. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. Keir Starmer, an Arsenal fan. They wished he never could. And silt. So the fans start singing, keep the red flag fine now. That will cheer him up. An election year. Corner, well done. Hey. Daniel wins a corner. Someone's second of the game. Come on. The sun's coming out of Norwich now. Well, they've had the rain. I don't think much more could come down. The farmers will be happy. Styles take this corner for Sunderland. Direct. Sergeant might break here. Edwards oh, pulled him down. Well it's took the yellow card there. Yeah. He had to. I was trying to take the free kick quickly. Edwards goes into the book. Yeah. It's a definite professional one. Feel like that anyway. <laughs> He's Mundell. Do your stuff. Jobs ahead of him. Trying to get on the. That's he a did. Foul. That is a foul. That's a foul. Come on. A decent position this. Yeah. He was looking. I thought. I thought. Honestly, I'd put a decent ball in for the corner. I think he gets a, another opportunity to stick it right in there, causing a lot of problems. Neil a quick word with Fumi Mundell. Clean comes across, Job gets on the end of it, and yeah. Gibson just takes his, yeah. his leg away. Easy one for the referee to give that. Coming up to the hour mark down at Carroll Road, nil-nil. 
Sunderland in 10th at the moment, Norwich in 7th. Yeah, the draw does none of us any good, really, but again, I said before, we'd have probably just settled for the draw after the run we're on. Something to build on it. Well, let's on. be positive, come on. Oh. It's flicked on. Oh. Going to be given another. Sands brings it away. Offside, no, the player's over. It's hard to read when we're back here at the stadium and like watching television pictures. Doesn't come for anything at the moment. Norwich have the ball in an advanced position from the throw. Or just Sands, it was, who's threatening to break there. It could be seeing a change. And that is Sidney Van Hoydock. Van Hoydonk, son of Pierre, who you'll have played against. Do you play for Forrest? Yeah, I've been playing against him at Robert Park. He said he wouldn't last long. 60 minutes is about what he put a shift in there. He's not as tall as his dad, boy. No. He's on loan from Bologna. He's 24, the Dutchman. This is the first change of the afternoon. That's he's, he's, he's just pushed him to the floor. I think given. Played by Styles. Only as far as Ben Gibson. Sands. Here. Styles. Oh, that's not all. Be better than that. Chances are few and far between here, which we need to make them need to make it stick. They're giving away the ball cheaply. Hanley. He cuts it out, doesn't. Stop the attack. Janulis. Signs. I don't know where it was there. Signs picks it up. I think Luke was looking for the foul. His foot was right next to his face. Sara thinks about the cross. Does come in eventually. Pass it comes. Gets it. Dan Neal, bringing it away for Sunderland. Goes through the legs as well and plays a positive ball forward, looking for Hamia. Neal's ball forward, cut out that time. Job asking the question. Cheered on by those Sunderland fans. And they've got it back. Good pressing from Sunderland. Good pressing from Job. Yeah. <laughs> Give the ball away again. From Norwich and Sarah. Stopped by 9 Ekwa brings it down. Tries to wriggle out with it. He does. Mundle to the left. Yelda. Silt. Sunderland preparing a couple of changes themselves. Might have been Abdullah Bar there. Can't see from this uh, camera angle. I mean, we do need a change. I mean, to be fair to uh, Mundell, he's, he's put a ship, he's worked hard, he's got back, but he hasn't done anything offensively. So maybe we're just trying to change that up. Styles takes it in his stride, and that's definitely a foul on him. Is it going to be a card, maybe? And then I was going to say maybe Styles, because Styles hasn't really been in the game either until, until there. 
So whether or not Bok comes on either side of there. Well, the sun might be out, but the rain's continuing yeah. to go down, and it's definitely a foul on Callum Styles there. There's no doubt about that. No card though for Grant Hanley. Rusin also putting his shorts on. That disappoints us a bit. We put Amir there, never really put the ball in the box, and now we're taking them off. I did, I, sometimes I just think, well, what was the point? We'll see, we'll see what develops. Sunshine coming through there. I wonder if that'll play its part of the ref if it's coming down onto the goalkeeper there. Clutching its draws. I'm an, I'm an optimist. <laughs> <laughs> I think that guy is shooting from 30 yards out. He's going to go for it. Not low enough. It's not hard enough. I mean, there's not a goalkeeper I wouldn't have saved that even if it was on target. We're going to see those changes from a similar perspective. Well, we're going to see a replay of Pierre's free kick. Yeah, Rusin for Hamia. I think he's getting a decent reception from the Southern fans down there. Yeah, I feel sorry for him. He just, you know, he's on the pitch and then his strengths are in the box. Another change there. Yeah, Mundell for Bart. Yeah, it was either Mundell or Styles, I think, but uh, it would have been either for me. But uh, I mean, Rusin will be he'll be busy. He'll be running around. He'll be darting in and out the channels. He's, he's, he's a completely different to Amir. Hopefully that yeah, might be make a difference. Oh, the ball's come all the way through. It's a poor effort in the end. That was a shot. Oh, that was nice from Callum Styles, just dropping it off for Pierre Equart. Callum was looking at a rainbow in that attack. Here's Abdullah Bar. <sighs> Stretching to get there. Sealed. What's he give? He's played it inside, and that's a terrible miss from Gabriel Sara. Just take the side for it in the goal. It's probably the best chance of the afternoon. And he's put it over. Just sloppy, sloppy play. Look at that. Patterson not even in the goal. A let off oh, for Sunderland. Huge, huge let off. I mean, it starts unfortunately for me. Bond gives the ball back to 0 9, which is sloppy. He's stretching. It just. It just on. Houston trying to get across, he won't get there. He's up to the bar, can he make a difference for Sunderland? There's Ben Gibson. John Ulis. Hanley, who's had it as much as anyone this afternoon. <laughs> I think he's touched his counts up by. That's got to be our ball. Yeah. Gee. <laughs> Some conditions down there today. You can see the pitches start to churn up as well. Equa. Fumes on side, plays it forward. Styles cuts it back. Equa. Jensen Silt. Neil goes around the other side. It's Abdullah Bar. Hjelda. Cross comes in. Nine. In the end, Fastnacht comes through. Is Hanley. Barbar Hjelda and Sarah. He's 
He's been very aggressive today. His problem has been, oh, we're better. <laughs> this player, but the bar is quite low. Janulis goes inside, signs Sarah. Clean. Sarah. Drops it off. Stacey with the shot, left footed. It's miles away as well. But unfortunately, I can see it's coming for them, I think. I, I just, it's just, we haven't really started the second half. Yeah, it's only their lack of any quality, really, that's, that's saved us at the moment. Jensen Silt. Pierre Equam. He's down the line, Roosan gets a touch. Styles tries to give him it back, but it's cut out quite easily by Ben Gibson. And Norwich come forward. Sargent through the middle. Takes a touch. Oh. Comes out. Signs. <laughs> Straight out passing. LV's not winning, I have no idea. I'm glad. Yeah. If we can pull out with this a point, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be so happy where we played, come out the second half. It's been really, really poor. Again, giving the ball away, Styles this time. Trying to play Russian Rus in, it's just, we're just giving it away too, far too easy. Signs of shot was either side of Patterson. Maybe one no, it is not. I'm still in this. Off Dan Neal, who then plays it to the left hand side. Abdullah Bar gets it back. Dan Neal, it's a great ball. ball. Trey Hume puts it back in. It's behind him. It's just behind Callum Styles, and it goes out for a goal kick. Great play from Dan Neal. Sort of his feet there. We've seen the run. Just a bit of quality again there from Trey. Just plays it in behind him. I couldn't do anything about that. Just trying to drag it back. Some fans doing their bit. Home fans getting a bit restless, I think. But it's all the Sunderland fans you can hear down at Carroll Road. In. And on Hanley, a little loose. Keep the ball low. This is Jack Stacey. This cross goes in. Comes down. All the way through. Janoulis. Charge oh, down. Oh, You'll always get that from Q. Fully committed. We felt I was going to mention some, about a couple of minutes ago. I, I fancy Rig to come on instead of Styles. Well, he's on. He's Sunderland's third substitute this afternoon. Yeah. Word on Styles' performance. <sighs> Up and down, a couple of good bits, and, but but generally we've been again like the rest of the team. We've given the ball away a bit too cheaply. Fastnacht is coming off for Norwich. There's nothing Rig does. He keeps the ball. Keeps the ball well. He's got a, Eye for a really, really for a good pass, so we'll see. This is the nitty gritty part of the game. You know. Liam Gibbs comes on. As so you can hear, the, some of the fans are just trying their best to motivate, our, motivate the players, keep them on it defensively, and see if we can pinch something. Yeah. <laughs> 
Sarah. Hanley. Sergeant trying to flick it through. Didn't. Job. Stalls on it, but it falls to Rig, who's played a lovely ball out wide to Abdullah Bart. There's Abdullah again. This is Dan Neal. Trey Hume. Him and Ekwa on yellow cards in this game as we move into the final 15 minutes. Floated forwards towards Job. Angus Gunn's always getting that one. It's up in the air. Held up underneath it. And Neil trying to get it as well. McLean picks it up, runs across with it. Janulis is there with him. That foot across comes in. Important header from Yelda. He's defended really well today. Really well today. Can Rusin get on the end of this one? He's kept it in. Nasrusen, head down, tries to get yeah. across his man. Does he get the foul? It's yellow card. Janulis gets a yellow. First Norwich player in the book. Again, used his body well. Lance just, just barged in. Just nervous. There you go, right in his back. We'd love to know where you're watching the game this afternoon here on SFC Live. Join us in the post game program. Danny's not here, but Lee will take your questions. Get the hashtags in. Hashtag Ask Danny on social media. Our production team will pick up your points of view. Tell us where Sunderland have gone wrong this afternoon tell us where they perhaps could find success in the remainder of this game get in touch then from Hume bar get there he can twisting and turning can he get a ball in oh he's it he is you know he's in here Abdullah Bar goes for it good oh. work still in play Kjelda Dead, but it looked like it came off the bar. I think it did. I think, he, I think he hit the bar. He, uh, but that's what Abdullah gives you. He's got great feet at times. It's just something that's we just for stretch the hell, doesn't he? Another good ball by Rig. Yeah, Chris Rig it was with that ball. He's done Neil. The elder asking for it. Abdullah Bar trying to get in the box again. It's been a bit of a nuisance though. Sargent takes it, stopped by Silt. Joe picks it up. Rig gets it back of Equa. A little bit of pressure from us now. It's the first time this, in the second half that we've actually retained the ball. And now, oh, 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 I wish I'd have said that. called the commentator's curse, that <laughs> <actually. laughs> Leicester had equalised. In fact, it was 2 0 to Queen's Park Rangers in that game. It's 2 1 now. As Rusin has a shot from distance. Let's have a look at the other scores around the grounds Birmingham City 2, Southampton 3, <laughs> Millwall 1, Watford 0. It's been all about this one. These bars chance. Yeah, let's have another look at this. Yeah, he does well. Rides that challenge. Can't really tell from that, can you? Yeah, you can't tell from that. Maybe from this one. Saves yeah, it. Saves it under, under the, the bar. bar. Oh! Possible opportunity here. Equa picks it up. Chrissy Rig, what can he do Please. with this? Equa. He's on his right foot. He's going to shoot. Looking oh, for Jordan. Off he's a mile off. off. Sticks it in though. <sighs> Better. Yeah, a bit of pressing. I think was Henley gives the ball away. Uh, we get on it. Just again. Just Rig just couldn't sort his feet out to get to get a shot out the way. Then it's on Equa's right foot, so he's going to shoot. 
but uh, yeah, shooting practice for Joe. Yeah, and maybe Norwich a little bit nervy as we move into the last 10 minutes. Well, I tell you what, since 15 minutes ago, it's it's the Sunderland fans, the noise they've, they've just they've just generated and generated, and it's it's it seems to pick pick the lads up a little bit. Was conceded a foul there. Just a couple of the other scores. So um, Stalker 2 0 up against Middlesbrough. Swansea 2 1 against Blackburn Rovers. We'll bring you all the full time scores in the post game programme. It's Ben Gibson. It's one in towards Sargent. He might get there. Second, third chance, fourth chance goes in. Get a few bites at it. But in the 80th minute, Josh Sargent makes a 1 0 to Norwich. Again, it might be straight. It's just a ball in the box, so it causes problems. You know, it gets caught and we just kind of clear it. But, you know, if, if I'm being brutally honest. Apart from a bit of a spell left for five minutes, some of them have been really poor with the second half. And they've had a lot of chances. You know, he's missed it there. It's just. Yeah, just a ball in the box. As you do, you keep putting it in, it causes problems, and I just. Yeah, look at this. Ah. Distance from Sergeant, but it takes advantage of a bobbling ball, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, well, that's what it is. Again, it's just put the ball in the box, and that's what can happen. The conditions are pretty, pretty horrible, you know what I mean? It's just, for me, it's just, you know, we try to complicate football, and football isn't complicated. Just get the ball in the box, create chances. Progressive, pretty clear, but sometimes it, it, it is. It's just about just getting it wide and getting it in. It's Trey Hume for Chris Rigg. Nunes goes down the line. Norwich fans finally come alive as a pull back on Silt. trying to get on the end of this one he does he's on side job held up Rusin to Luke O'Neill the shirts there. There's nothing in the end. It's Gibbs who comes out on top. Good turnaround for Sunderland. In action 7.45 on Tuesday. Look at the stadium alight against Leicester City. Currently getting beat by Queen's Park Rangers. So another change soon for Norwich. I guess it'll be a defensively one. Well, we don't want to hang on to this. Sargent gets on the end of it, keeps possession. Gibbs gives it back to Sargent. Moved on to 11 goals this season with that goal this afternoon. It's 
Stacey. I suppose again, that's a difference. I think uh, Norwich, I mean, the lads are playing well. I mean, two players in double figures. Sarah, you know, high. He's, eight. he's got eight. He's got eight. It's just, Rolls yeah, that's, that's the difference. Yeah, we've got Jack Clark at 15, I think. The, the next is Joe Pump. It's just, it's just the, and the lack of stand, it's just, we've just got a lack of firepower. Van Hoydong plays it in for Sargent, who fancies one. Cuts it back well, but Trey Hume was there to read it. Job gets it back. Neil doesn't get the foul. Wasn't the foul. Signs. Stacy. Stacy. Still going. Side netting. Dollar Bar, who's trying to get back and help out. Job's made way for Mason Burstow there. Two up top. And I've got no job was playing the mat 10, but I think we're just going to go two up top. And he can. He's Silt. This is Luke Nine. He's Yelda. Abdullah Bar gives him a back. Put out easily by Gibson. Gets it back of Equa. Gives a good ball out wide to Abdullah Bar. Kelder's gone and inside him. Abdullah Bar. His head injury there. I think it's Chris Rigg, is it down? Oh, he's gone flying in there bravely. Because yeah, he that's half a chance that. Yeah, I've seen Rig make a really, really good run, and he's just threw himself at it, and he's obviously got a boot in his face for the... I mean, that is just a pass back, isn't it? Science is coming off. Jacob Sorensen comes on, so an attacking midfielder for a defender there. Yeah, we'll, we'll be there. Don't, don't be running the whole lot with this. Sargent's coming off as well. He's got a winning goal so far. Sam McCallum, another defender, comes on. They're shutting up shop. Changes each. Just moving to the final couple of minutes of normal time. Hjelda. Verso trying to get on the end of it. Stacey. Verso blocks off the pass and wins it back for Sunderland. Can't find a red and white shirt though. Nine. Oh! Takes one there, or nine. That's a, that's a rush, a proper rush. Still 
down on nine. Are you thinking about a card? Yeah, that's... that's oh, that's what I just got. Sorensen, yeah. Right. 26,000 down at Carroll Road. There's a 20, there's a 20, 22. Oh, I might have done. Just a follow through. Sealed. Or nine. Five minutes added on. Will we get one more chance? Yeah, can Sunderland <coughs> get something out of this game this afternoon down at Carroll Road? Dan Neal gives it to Pierre Equar. Got a lot of defenders on Norwich, so they will be sitting in for this final five yeah. minutes. Sunderland asked the questions though. He's bar. Ekwar keeps it for Sunderland. Dan Neal. Takes Real many ball. players out with that pass. Ball's played in. Wilson. Oh. And Hume. I think we've never played. We get in that box and we just lose, <laughs> lose the use of our legs. Equal. It's Abdullah Bar. He's got plenty of space. He's got the beating of him. He's inside the box. Stands one up. Trey Hume. Callum for company. Comes back to sealed. He'll cross it. It's attacked by Rusin. Not enough on it. He's a lucky. He's a lucky. Now we're putting the ball in the box. <laughs> Yeah, strange that how you create chances. Just hasn't been enough of that this afternoon for Sunderland. Nowhere near enough, uh, frankly. We've just been so poor in and around the box. on that and he's won a corner for them as well. The time is ticking by, played two of the five. And the ball's at the wrong end of the pitch from a Sunderland perspective. Don't forget to join us in the post-game programme. We and Lee will front it up back in the sports bar. Get your hashtags in. Hashtag ask Danny. What have you all say about today's game? Look at the other scores and that league table as well. Lines was flagging about something. Offside. Just, just over two minutes left of added time. Can Sunderland rescue something out of this game and stop four consecutive defeats? Wants to get down the other end of the pitch if they are to do so. He's Pierre Equa. Chris Rigg. It's a lovely great ball. ball. A great ball for Mason Burstow, but he couldn't take it in his stride. No foul. Just like a clear one. Stacey manages to get it away with the help of Sorensen. So it will come again, though. He's bar. Has scored down a Carroll Road before. Oh. Rusin back in injuries, man. That's nothing. Come on. Trey Hume. It's put out by Gibson. Sealed. Oh, you joke on ref, there's no in that. He's holding his face, Janoulis. So oh. Jensen sealed. It's 
an absolute accident. The lad's about a foot smaller than Rickett Silt." Rest some more time. He's got a fractured eyebrow. minutes it's restarted can suddenly get it down the other end well, there won't be timely it's finished down to Carroll Road it's another defeat for Sunderland quick summing up of that one yeah another disappointing second half we never, never got out